Cephalanthus occidentalis buttonbush. These are shrubs 4 to 10 feet in high, usually with a rounded or somewhat arching habit. The foliage is deciduous and opposite, but the leaves may also occur as whorls. The leaf shape is ovate to elliptic lanceolate. Leaves are usually 2 to 6 inches long and will be lustrous dark green above and somewhat lighter in color and may be pubescent beneath. The leaves usually have a fairly glossy appearance. The leaves are deciduous, although they may persist into the winter, creating a semi-evergreen leaf. Ornamental features for Cephalanthus occidentalis. The bark is usually a dirty gray-brown in color, with new growth occurring as shiny olive green. Emerging stems are weakly four-sided. There are C-shaped bundle traces in the leaf scars. The pith of Cephalanthus occidentalis is solid and light brown. Individual creamy white flowers are very small and packed into spherical clusters with projecting styles. The overall cluster size is about an inch to an inch and a quarter across. This creates a very spiky looking flower. The fruit occur in rounded masses of nutlets and will persist through the winter. This can be a good winter ID feature. Flowers usually occur in June and July. Cultural information for Cephalanthus occidentalis. These are hardy from zones 3 to 11, do best in full sun but will tolerate part shade, and prefer an acidic to neutral soil pH, 5.0 to 7.4. There are no major insect or disease issues listed for Cephalanthus occidentalis. They're native in Iowa and the eastern USA. Terminal buds are usually absent. Laterals are solitary, sessile, conical and shaped, and depressed above the leaf scars. Leaves emerge late in the spring. These often look pretty dead until May. These are best reserved for wet areas where naturalization is desired. 